Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of the NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode. I hope you're all having a great day today. We go racing here in the Truck Series and the Cup Series. For our trucks, we got Richmond, but for the Cup Series, we have a brand new track on the schedule at Richmond Raceway. Very excited to bring that one your way. But first, of course, we have the Truck Series race here at Richmond Raceway to deal with. As you guys know, every single episode with the Truck Series race, we have a subscriber in the truck for us. And this time around, we had subscriber Tiger Band in the truck for us here today at Richmond Raceway, hoping for a strong effort. But unfortunately, when it comes to Richmond, we usually do not have a very good race in trucks or Xfinity sometimes on the Cup Series side. We do decent, so it's going to be interesting to see how we can do at least here in the Truck Series as we weren't really expecting that much simply because of the just poor history that we have at this racetrack in the lower series now as you see tiger band up the inside of the 88 there as he went down into turn three and he was making up some ground here on the inside in this opening lap in the next couple laps but uh definitely didn't quite have the pace that we needed to go up and fight towards the top 10 position and whatnot here as you see him going into turns one continuing to make up some ground here going with some three wide moves and whatnot uh, as there was a lot of three wide action here in the opening couple of laps of this event here in Richmond as he went down into turns uh, three now passing the 45 uh, but we come through now a little bit later in this race now up the inside of Tyler Ankerman turns three and four and he was just continuing to slowly move his way forwards but quickly run running out of time here unfortunately at Richmond now as he was in a nice little side-by-side -side battle with Ankrum for quite a few laps actually but he would eventually get clear of him and now we come through straight to the final lap of this race and now he was just really playing defense into through uh, turns three and four on this final few corners now as he comes through out of turns four it wasn't the greatest effort in the world at Richmond Raceway like we expected but still P13 for a track that we really have struggled at in the past I was actually pretty happy with that result but the winner would end up being Grant Enfinger over Tim Richmond, John Hunter Nemechek, Chandler Smith as well as Max Gutierrez round out the top five here as well as Raphael Lassard in the top ten as you look through the rest of the finishing order on your screen Tad Moffat down there in the 20s same for Brett Holmes not a good finish for him and he started at the back of the field but now we come through into the cup series already at Road America one of the new tracks on the schedule the second new track we've had this season most recently we had Gateway on the schedule which was a new track and we had a terrible performance there but now we're at a road course, so I was expecting way better, or a way better overall effort with this team as we went down into turns one, and I was attacking the track really hard, and so far it felt pretty good. But a little bit later in the lap, things would go downhill real quick. You see me make a bit of a mistake right there out of the left-hander. Wasn't a big deal, but then right here, the next corner, I actually looped the car around on the exit, just losing too much grip, and I was way too aggressive on the throttle. Fortunately, we got it back going and never really fully spun it around, actually. But then coming towards the end of the lap, well, here you see I lose it and into the barrier we go. And I already knew that we had destroyed our chances of a good qualifying effort. So we come through to cross the line with a 219-275 and qualify P33 here at Road America. So now we have a lot of work cut out for us throughout this race. And now that is the second road course race this season and second uh, time qualifying where we have wrecked the car. You see some other drivers down towards the bottom of the field. Timmy Hill, Derek Krauss, Priest, Blaney, Christian Eckes, Sam Mara as well. Uh, then you have us, of course, and then the going racing car driven by Daniel Suarez in the mid-20s. Alex Bowman, our teammate, P21. Elliott, surprisingly, down in the mid-teens at a road course. Austin Sindrick up there in the top five. Lewis Hamilton was outside of the top ten as well. But Harrison Burton starts in the top ten here as we get ready to take the green flag. At Road America, for the second time, we've gone to a new track here on the Season 5 of the Cup Series schedule. Alright boys, uh, we've had a decent comeback last week at Kansas. I mean, Gateway was a disaster. We came back strong. I think we got a little bit of momentum on our side. We've got a road course now. We know what we can do on the road courses. Let's go have a good one today. There you hear myself on the radio to the team getting ready to take the green flag here at Road America. Nobody actually failing inspection or missing driver intros or anything, so no one sent to the back of the field. So we will still be starting, unfortunately, down in the 30s now as we get ready to take this green flag on the left-hand side of the track. Turn one, of course, a right-hand turn, so I would love to be on the right side of the track to have a bit more of an advantage now as the green flag is out. And we are underway at Road America. I should mention right off the bat, you're going to notice the laps are pretty 
short uh, in terms of the actual lap count. This is only uh, like a 12 lap race here at Road America. So it is very, very short. Stage one and two are both two laps each as we go down into turns one and a big stack up there. I pulled to the left. I was about to go around Kozlowski, but by the time I pulled over, they started speeding up again. Now, uh, now as we go down though to turns two, I knew they were probably going to do the exact same thing again. And sure enough, I actually take advantage, make a three wide. But the reason this race is so short, only 12 laps or so, like I said, in Road America, that's extremely short. Uh, but the reason being is this track is extremely long. So uh, these laps take a while. This, these are well over two minute laps with the NASCAR stock car. So it's going to be still a normal length race. It's just not going to look like that with the lap count. Now, as Anthony Alfredo sent it up my inside, I go way too deep into the left hander. And we actually get past the number 44 of Lewis Hamilton here, right behind the 22 of Joey Logano, who, of course, is our rival now as uh, Christopher Bell nearly gets into the back of myself uh, as we now try to work on passing our rival of Logano in that number 22 Shell Pennzoil Ford Mustang now as we're right to the back of him. I'm going to try and look up the left-hand side here and take advantage of these slower cars now passing Todd Gilliland, trying to get up the inside of Suarez for a moment. Couldn't quite make it happen now, but I get a really bad exit right there. So Gilliland is actually able to stay in front of me here as we go down into the carousel for the first time. And Logano, he's going to get to the back of me now and he's already going to move me up and out of the groove as Harrison Burton continues to lead the way. But fortunately, we stay in front of Logano and get past Todd Gilliland on the exit of the carousel as we come through this little right bend here now as we got some smoke up ahead. Everybody keeps it clean out to the right-hand side of Austin Dillon. We pass him and now we're going to carry this momentum to the outside or the right-hand side of Justin Haley in that number 16 car for Colleague Racing. Now though, on lap two, through turns one, we get to the back of Daniel Suarez and make a three wide with him and our teammate of Alex Bowman now. So we're already up inside the top 20 on what is already this final lap, by the way, of stage one. Now to the back of the 12 of Daniel Hemrick. We're just going to look to the left uh, hand side of him. Hemrick's been having some bad luck recently here in the Karimo. That 12 car, I, I think, is just completely cursed because they have so many engine issues, tire issues that take them out of races when Ryan Blaney was in that car and now even with Daniel Hemrick in that car, the same situation now is Cole Custer actually lunges back up my left hand side well after I was able to clear him down the straightaway. So side by side with Cole down into the next left hander. And now as we go into the corner, Cole gets sideways, actually clips me in the quarter panel there. And I think that helps him get saved actually. Uh, but we continue moving on back up into P18 now as we try to run down Kyle Busch and whatnot through the carousel. We were getting closer and closer. So we do have some strong speed in this number 24 Razor Chevrolet Camaro here today. And hopefully we can get up towards the top 10 uh, at the or by the end of stage two now as we come through the right bend once again you see some more checkups and this opens the door wide open for myself to just go on the left past Kyle Busch past Haley Deegan as well as past Brandon Jones and he actually won the first road course race of the season earlier this season at Sonoma Raceway where he just downright dominated that race had the fastest car didn't win all the stages but still like I said had the fastest car and was just pretty much unbeatable towards the end of that race now as you see me slipping and sliding out of the penultimate corner there as we head down though and to the final turn Harrison Burton wins stage one now as you see the AI take a bit of a weird line through that final corner they go quite a bit wide but it really doesn't impact us so we come through down this front straightaway it's not going to be the greatest stage one effort of course starting towards uh, the 30s but we still sure enough come through to cross the line in P15 so a nice rebound considering our starting position now as you see rounding out the top 10 we got the number 42 for Chip Ganassi racing of Tyler Reddick but Harrison Burton picks up a playoff point he currently has one win on the season and Noah Gregson up there, McLaughlin, who's been strong at road courses every time, William Byron, Austin Sindrick, Eric Almarola, Bubba Wallace, Chase Briscoe, as well as Ross Chastain in the 47 car, even up inside the top 10 here as we get ready to go green now for the start of this second stage. No pit stop necessary there, but at the end of the stage, we will have to come into the pit lane now as we get back underway. Here's a green flag drops for the start of stage two, and now it is time to get amped in Road America.
There you have the amp segment here at Road America on this first and opening lap of Stage 2. You see just how long it takes to get around this track right now. It's right to the back of Elliot. I decided to cut him a break right here. He is a teammate. I could have easily passed him, but I decided to give him a moment here now as we head down towards the bend on the right now. As Elliot actually sends it up the inside of the 47, now all of a sudden all of us are crashing. We're into the side of the 9 car, hit the barrier, and around goes our teammate of Chase Elliot. No caution. Relaxed cautions are on. I saw another car run into him, but all of a sudden we have radiator damage and some very significant significant damage on the front end of the car overall and now we're going to be a little bit off the pace all of a sudden as everything just changed out of nowhere as we're now under pressure from Daniel Suarez in the going racing car as we go down towards this penultimate corner here now as we're going to just tuck in behind him and actually get into the back of Suarez now sending him a little bit sideways he makes a tremendous save right there as we go down to the final turn now some pressure from Logano behind now as Suarez has more issues he's going to go spinning I'm about to hit him I pull to the left to avoid running into the side of him I go into the sand pit uh, a whole bunch of chaos us. All of a sudden here at the end of this first lap, I just dumped my own car and driver of Daniel Suarez and just ruined his day and we have destroyed the front end of our car off of Chase Elliott deciding to just go up the inside of the 47 and wreck himself and all of a sudden we're down to P23 here as we come through to start this final lap of stage 2. I should have never cut the 9 car a break. Way to go Chase. There you hear myself on the radio just saying I should not have cut the nine car a break. We would have never been in that situation if you would have just went past him now. As we get uh, passed by Kyle Larson, I lost so much grip. The car was driving terribly at this point now as I'm just trying to bring it home as there is only one lap to go in stage two. So now down towards the left-hander a little bit, ha about halfway into this lap. A little bit of contact actually with Kyle Larson, but all of a sudden I'm actually able to kind of compete with him and pass him as we go down into the carousel. Harrison Burton continuing to lead the way through the final sector or so of this track that was up ahead though we got some more trouble Matt DiBenedetto goes spinning through the same spot where Chase Elliott just crashed and now we're coming through here I get to the back of Austin Dillon because I was unaware of what was going on they check up we go by on the right and now DiBenedetto is just stomped on the side of the track and we get back going now P23 some more damage on the front end of this car but a wild stage two this has been here as we go down into the corner and the caution comes out to end stage two so I guess something must have uh, happened behind us that created more more chaos because they actually decided to throw the caution under a relaxed yellow so now everybody is going to come into the pit lane but you see we have eight seconds of damage on the car we're going to have to give up quite a bit of track position to fix that damage so we're just going to come in put two cans of fuel four fresh tires on it that was pretty much all we can do i didn't want to make any adjustments because i thought the car was driving pretty good and it was showing that we were gaining a lot of positions in stage one and two up until that moment when chase elliott crashed and collected myself suarez down there at the bottom of the field along with Elliot and Derek Krauss as well here as we get ready to go green for the start of the third and final stage. You see it right there. We end up giving up 16 positions and drop down to P39. I'm not sure if that was fully because of the repairs I made. Maybe it also kind of was a mix of maybe the AI drivers only taking two tires or something like that. But either way, we were going to the back with the repairs nonetheless here as we get back underway for the start of stage three. But now you notice on the track map, the 33 of Austin Sindrick is leading the way. Sindrick now in his third full-time season of the Cup Series here in our NASCAR Heat 5 career mode as I lunge up that left-hand side taking advantage of that big stack up but Cindric has yet to win a cup series race in his first season with the 21 car he barely missed out on the playoffs and just like he did last season as well in the 33 car now for Penske Racing he barely missed out on the playoffs and here he is this season now having a decent subpar season hasn't been the greatest but here he is leading at Road America known of course for being a tremendous road course racer Austin Cindric is and now he has a chance to potentially get his first career win here today and lock himself into the playoffs now as we are already up into P32 to the back of Ryan Priest's. I take it very easy into this left-hander because it is a very heavy braking zone and with a bunch of cars around that gets very dangerous down into there as we pass that Red Bull of Christian Eckes, the rookie, as we're up to that left recorder panel of Brad Kozlowski of Stuart Haas racing in that 41 car. Hasn't been the season he's been looking for so far. He's been doing decent but obviously needs to have some serious improvements if we're going to consider him to be a potential championship threat now as we lunge up that left-hand side of our affiliate teammate of William Byron to the back of Zane Smith in that Richard Childress 8 car as well. So we're continuing to move our way forwards very quickly on this first and opening lap of this third and final stage. 
So now I'm trying to find a way to get to that right-hand side. Oh, Zane Smith here as we come through onto the carousel. Sure enough, that opportunity opens up right there. So we're going to try and move up now into P26 as Cedric appears to be running away with the lead based off of the track map. Now as there's more trouble up ahead, though, I see the 21 of Anthony Alfredo. He's gone crashing for Wood Brothers Racing in that same location as other cars have earlier in this race. Like Elliot, in the background, I saw the Red Bull of Christian Eckes also crashing in the same position. So a bunch of crashes. I think there's been more crashes already in this race than there have been all season combined right now as we're to the back of Sam Mayer. I'm now going to try and get around him as quickly as we can. Down into the penultimate corner. Couldn't quite pull off anything right there, but now out of the final turn, we look up the right-hand side down this front fitaway and we will get ourselves ahead of that Trackhouse 99 car driven by Sam Mayer and get to the back of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and that number 6 NOS Ford Mustang for Raj Fenway Racing. And we're just going to cruise by on the right-hand side of him and move up into P6 as we try to run down our rival of Joey Logano next. And sure enough, we get there and I waste no time and passing him. We lunge up the left-hand side and then even get up to the left of Chris Busher into the next corner and sure enough, we move up, move up into P21 now as we close in on the back of Ryan Blaney and that number 7 McLaren not having the greatest run here today as he's been having a subpar season so far now as we go down into the right bend. Once again, more trouble up in front of us. Noah Gregson goes into the wall but then Kyle Larson follows him but he goes completely around head on into the concrete barrier. Larson has a huge hit right there and that's going to take his chances of having a decent result result out here in Road America now as we would continue green. No cautions are coming out for these incidents. So now we put the pressure on Blaney. We pass him. We look to the right-hand side of Tyler Reddick and then go to the outside or right side of the 38 of Todd Gilliland and all of a sudden we're up into P17 and continuing to move our way forward as we get to the back now of Daniel Hemrick down this long back straightaway here and we're going to look up the right-hand side of him and easily complete a pass and move up into P16. So now following though, Gregson behind the number 96 of Brandon Jones into that right bend. They come together a little bit there. Jones, he kind of pulls out. He says, I don't want to get wrecked like everybody else has been. So we actually easily move up into P15 as I try to make a move right there. But Gregson actually goes a little bit defensive. So I decide to hold out and wait for a better opportunity. Now down the far and straightaway, coming to just four laps to go in this race. But it's still been a very lengthy third and final stage. Now I'm looking up the right hand side of Gregson. You see a little bit of damage on the front bumper of his car. Now as we dive down into turns one side by side with Gregson now as we come through out of the corner. Gregson's come up short of a couple victories in his career. Still looking for career win. Number one. He had a chance at Kansas to pull it off. Couldn't quite do it. He was dominating in Phoenix and he blew a tire. Now as we come through out of the corner, still side by side with Gregson and now down the towards the end of this long straightaway just barely ahead of Gregson but I actually outbreak myself into the corner. We sail it off in there and we're going to go right into the sand pit. Gregson gets away and fortunately there really wasn't any traffic coming so I'm able to get back on the track safely and we were all okay so now P15 I was a little bit frustrated with that one Gregson braked deeper than I did and I still missed the corner and he made it just fine but we would actually to my surprise have no problem running him and the other cars that he had just run down uh, as we were now getting towards the back of Gregson Alex Bowman Christopher Bell and I believe Ross Chastain so now down into turns one on lap 15 only three laps to go now to that right hand side of Noah Gregson I wasn't wasting any time with Noah considering the moment we just had where we missed our braking zone and had to regain all that time on oh, Noah. We clear him out of turns too. I go a little bit wide there through the grass. It looks like someone went even wider than I did there based off the tire marks. But now up the left-hand side of Alex Bowman here in the mid portion of the course. And sure enough, we just continue to move our way towards the top 10. But without a caution uh, and maybe someone in the top 10 crashing, there is no chance we're getting there because we are like 10 seconds or so at least behind 10th place. Now as Chastain runs P11, you can see, look at all the tire marks through that bend right there. You can see a lot of people have been having trouble through there today as we easily pass Ross Chastain. But now, there was nothing I could do. We could only hope for a caution. 12 seconds back with two laps to go. We were about, actually, now a lap and a half to go here in Road America. Now as we head down towards that left-hander, but the caution we wanted comes out and this is going to force overtime in Road America. We only had four laps of fuel in the car, uh, but with the caution and even though it's being forced to overtime, it is not going to be an issue. We can make it to the end of this race, no problem at all. So we're going to get ready to now go green for an overtime restart here at Road America where there was zero chance of us getting a top 10 if it stayed green. Not happening. Uh, but now we have an opportunity to get into the top 10 and maybe if luck goes our way, maybe even go for a top 5 now as it looks like the caution was for someone in front of us because we just gained a spot and now we are sure enough inside of the top 10 here now as overtime gets underway at Road America in this third and final stage here now as we have a shot to get a still a pretty solid finish now as we're on the right hand 
right-hand side of Harrison Burton. I didn't want to really push too hard here into turns one. I just wanted to make sure we get through here cleanly, keep the car in good shape as well, down into turns two. You got to be very careful as well, but you see me get a little bit loose there out of the corner, having to overcorrect the car a little bit. Fortunately, I uh, didn't go wrong right there now as we head down into turns two, but Austin Cindric already clear of the 78 and driving away with his potential first career win in his Cup Series career now as we're on that right-hand side of Harrison Burton, trying to put the pressure on him now as there's a bit of a stack up up in front of us now as we're still side by side with Burton down into the left-hander as Kyle Busch is a little bit slow into the corner and we're going to now actually be able to clear Harrison because of that little mistake from Kyle. So now running in that ninth position, but into the carousel, I actually make a mistake there. We go a little bit wide. Harrison tries to battle back up the right-hand side, but does not actually make anything happen out of that. So now on the exit of the carousel, we get a tremendous run on Kyle Busch. We make a pass on him. Nothing happens through this right bend here. Everybody actually kept it clean through here, at least up towards the front of the field. Uh, now out of the final turn, approaching the final lap, and not a good corner for Lewis Hamilton. So I look up the right-hand side of him, but still overall a good run for Lewis Hamilton here today as we go down this front straightaway. White flag in the air. Austin Cendrick leading the way still as he looks for that first career win of his Cup Series career. Now up the right-hand side of Eric Jones and that number 02 McLaren into turns one. Chase Briscoe up in the top five having another good run. He's been putting together some very strong runs recently now as I get sideways out of turns one. Correct the car. Fortunately, save it, but we lose the ground. We just gained there on Hamilton as well as Jones. So now we have to fight back as we go down into the carousel on this final lap here in Road America. Up ahead, Chase Briscoe, Bubba Wallace all having tremendous Tremendous runs here at the road course now is behind us. Kyle was trying to run us down, but clearly isn't anywhere near close enough to make anything happen now as we go down towards this right bend. The final time, Hamilton's going to lick up the inside of Jones. They're going to come together sideways, goes Hamilton and Jones. They both save it. A tremendous save by both of them. Jones loses a ton of momentum. I'm sure he was not happy with Hamilton whatsoever about that, but just very aggressive from Lewis. Pulls it off and gets up to P6 now as I go down into the corner, actually into the back of Hamilton. I just outbreaked by, uh, myself there. He gets sideways. He saves it now as we look to the left-hand side of him and then the caution comes out and the race comes to an end moments before Austin Cindric was going to cross the line and win this race but Cindric of course wins the race but what I was surprised about was Lewis Hamilton actually gets credited with P6 when the caution came out and it said race finished, I saw Lewis Hamilton's rear quarter panel in my rear view mirror. Uh, so I know for a fact I was ahead of him. But either way, they credit us uh, with P7 uh, and nothing we can really do about it at that point. But uh, what a crazy race here in Road America. Not only the craziest race of the season, but potentially one of the craziest, if not uh, the most craziest race in the NASCAR Heat 5 crew mode. Definitely has to be in the top 5, so uh, I was very surprised by that. I did some testing and I knew there was a bit of an issue through that right bend uh, towards the back half of the track, but I didn't think it was going to be just as big as it was in this race. Now, it was actually as poor of a race as it was. We gained some more points and move up into P5 in the standing, so cannot complain about that whatsoever. Next episode, though, we go to Talladega here in the Xfinity Series, but then on the Cup Series side of things, we will be going to Kentucky Speedway, and we actually have two visits to Kentucky Speedway in the career mode this season. So that is a track where we've had some struggles at in the past, so I'm not really sure exactly what to expect. Usually it's uh, in the middle of the season, and we just kind of go into Kansas or Kentucky, sorry, and I'm just like, let's just get it out of the way and just survive. Now we've got to go there twice, so uh, it's going to be a little bit more important uh, uh, there is a seat showing off Kentucky. But we're going to look at the playoff grid. Christian Eckes, the rookie, now 26 points below the cut line. Briscoe's 29 out. Kozlowski, 38. Lewis Hamilton, 38. And Chris Buescher, 47 points below the cut line. As Cindric gets his first win of a Cup Series career, puts himself in the playoffs now. Eight different winners on the season and only one multi-time winner is Bowman's currently the last driver in with Byron and P15. If you guys enjoyed this episode, you of course know what to do. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch this one and would of course like to say thank you to the Going Racing members here on the channel. MJ, Joseph9001, Timothy Arline, Bubba Jr., Brett Durward, Dark Gengar Gaming, AJ Vasseur, Dana9302, as well as Russell Dixon. You guys help me out so much and I really, really do appreciate it and just once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next Next one at Kentucky Speedway. Have a great day, everybody.